Hey, Mika, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Um, the power play had had been generating some chances, but hadn't been been scoring uh, the last couple of games until your goal. What kind of led to, to breaking through on on your play? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we haven't found the back of the net in the last couple of games, but we've been generating some some chances there that we probably should have scored on, and maybe on a better day we would have. So, so uh, we're still confident group, and we just snap it around like we did today, and and. Uh, First two power plays too today. We we got zone time like minute minute forty, but couldn't find the back of the net. And and the third one, I uh, was was glad that we got the one. Go ahead, Ian Peter. Yeah, obviously Eichel came back tonight. What was the just energy like in the building, and how important was staving off that kind of initial push from Vegas in the, at the beginning of the game? Yeah, we we know they they play really well at home and and. Uh, their crowd uh, feeds their their team off, and and uh, and they're a really energetic team, especially in the first period. So so that was one of the things we talked about before the game, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job with that. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Hey Miko, you guys play a scoreless forty minutes, and you know you even had that chance by Landeskog that hit the post in the second period. Just. Coming into the third period, how much did that goal, 41 seconds in, really just calm things down and, you know, allow you guys that opportunity to play with the lead? Yeah, I did. You know, we were second, first first and second period. We still had some some chances, like you said, Landy hit the post and, and uh, we had a couple other ones. We, we we had a really good chance. So so we were just sticking with it. And and uh, big, big, big key for us is like defense first. So so I think that's what we did. Uh, and we just stayed with it. You know, we, we know we can score, but. We got to take care of our end first. And, uh, but yeah, big goal by Landy there. We'll go back to Peter Bobby Athletic. Yeah, speaking of, of Landy, what, what just have you seen out of him in general lately? I think he's, he's almost caught up to you in, in goals scored and, and just obviously it seems like scoring in big moments too. Yeah, he's our, our captain, our, our biggest leader. So, so he plays the right way always and, and a two way game and, and uh, he can score too, like we, we've seen lately, lately and the whole season. So uh, he's a big key, key to our team and, uh, and uh, everybody can look up to him and, and uh, try to learn from him, especially the younger guys. So I uh, couldn't have a better guy there. Last one here on Zoom, go ahead, Peter. Similarly, on that note, what's just been the biggest thing that's impressed you about Darcy Kemper in this in this last little stretch? He's been one of the best goalies in the league since he came back from injury in December. Yeah, he, he looks settled in the net. You know, he's probably used to our system now. It's been over half a season, so so he knows kind of uh, how we play defense and, and stuff like that. So so uh, it's uh, he's playing really well, and, and uh, I'm really happy for him. And uh, it's it's nice to have him back there. Any questions from in the room? You talked about the importance of coming in and sort of establishing, you know, and then getting a win here, especially a makeup game. But with the energy and the fact it was like the view, how was it important for you all to, or what was the game plan to establish your presence and, and maybe set the tone, set the pace, our hits? Because both goaltenders were outstanding in the first 40. Yeah, yeah. It was a thing we talked about. You know, we, we need to be physical against this team. Uh, I think we learned from. Our series last year in the in the playoffs, how they they play and they're a really dangerous team and they can have you in your own zone for for a long time. So so uh, that was our key, you know, close quick in the D zone and try to not give them the cycle game and uh, they're, because they're really good at it. So so I think those are the big big things. And like I said before, you know, they're with this crowd and and how loud it is. So it's 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 hard not to. Uh, get up for the game like this. So, so, and against a good team uh, and what we had last year. So, so really kind of like a playoff atmosphere. Did the first meeting they come up there with, did, did that, does that still resonate? Because you, your team's only lost twice since December 6th. Was that loss still in the memory bank? Well, it was a while ago. So, but obviously you always remember uh, your last game against some teams and, and, uh, but it's, it's fun to play against Vegas. You know, we always have good, Good matchups, uh, and uh, and we really uh, really enjoyed. You know, it's it's good battle. Like I said, playoff hockey almost. So so that's what you that's what you want, and that's what you expect for. Thank you, Miko. Yeah, thank you.